everybody and welcome to Croctoberfest. Yes, I know I have done some um, crockpot recipes in the last few weeks, so I have four more for you today. And now that it's October, it is getting a little cooler here at night. And of course, it warms up during the day. Let me know how it is where you are. Anyway, all these meals are fantastic. I have two chicken, one jambalaya, which has chicken and sausage and shrimp, and then I have a beef one for you. They were all absolutely delicious. I don't know which one to tell you to try, except for maybe all of them. So without further ado, let's get cooking. For our barbecue drumsticks, the first thing we're going to do is season our drumsticks with salt and pepper and then we're going to heat them in the skillet or if you have this um, slow cooker you can use the insert this is by green life otherwise use a frying pan and we're going to make sure that we brown the chicken on all sides We have a little olive oil in the pan and I did add some Uncle Chris's steak seasoning to it as I knew go to throw it on everything seasoning but that is a not a necessary ingredient. Now I'm just seasoning the other side and then I will get these cooking. Now they're all done, I was just removing the grease. We're going to add now the barbecue sauce and also a half cup of the pineapple juice. We're now going to add the pineapple rings over the chicken drumsticks and then we can cook this either on high for three to four hours or low five to six. Now the directions do not say to do this but I've always done it with my drumsticks and that is to just broil it for a few minutes to crisp up the chicken. I served this with mashed potatoes and this was fantastic. I hope you give it a try. This jambalaya was awesome. I did wash all of my celery, but I'm only using two sticks for this. I put the rest in the freezer like I did last week. So I'm washing up the vegetables first. Directions are put all the ingredients except the shrimp and the rice into the crock pot. So I will have a list of the ingredients at the end of this clip and on the website rvlifeintheusa.com and that's also where you'll find the directions for these recipes. So we've got our vegetables chopped up and we've got that in. Now we're going to add the rest of the ingredients. We have tomatoes. Our seasonings uh, was thyme, which I don't like thyme so I didn't put that in. I have dry oregano, Cajun seasoning, and cayenne pepper. Added the tomato paste. Now I'm going to do the chicken broth and then we'll cut out the andouille sausage and the chicken.
Now this can be cooked on low for seven to eight hours or high three to four. The directions said to add the rice one hour before it was finished. I chose to cook my rice separately and put it in with the shrimp 15 minutes before the end of the cook time, but you can do either. I had just put my shrimp in and now I'm going to add the rice and I'll let this sit until the shrimp is completely done. It took about 15 minutes for this one. This was really good. I put some restaurant style uh, chips in the bottom to give it some crisp and we had a lot left over so I froze it we'll have it another week here's your ingredients back in April I did some chicken burrito bowls but they were done in the instant pot so now we've got one for our crock pot for crocktober fast so we've got our chicken in there we're going to add the taco seasonings the beans rotel chilies and corn this is cooked on high for three to four hours mine took about three Once the chicken's done, you just shred that up. I just did mine with my little meat masher. And then you stir in the rice. And you just mix everything up, top it with cheese, and then just let that melt. It was absolutely fantastic. Big Daddy put his on a flour tortilla, and I had mine in a bowl. I hope you give it a try. I'll have the ingredients again at the end of this clip and on the website rvlifeintheusa.com and that link will be down in the comment box below. Danny wanted some more beef so I found this recipe for some peppered steak in the crock pot and I thought this would be lovely either in a bowl or on a tortilla. So the first thing I did is cut up all the vegetables. said to cut the peppers thick so that's why I'm cutting them quite wide here. Next I'm taking two beef bouillon cubes and I'm going to put the half cup water in there and microwave that and then melt the cubes, whisk them up. Thank you. 
now we're going to add the rest of the ingredients to make the sauce and I have switched over to liquid aminos rather than soy sauce but you can use whichever you prefer and again all the ingredients and measurements will be at the end of this clip and on the website We're going to put the sauce into the slow cooker and then add our beef. Adding our vegetables and then we cover and cook this on low for five hours. I was trying to get the juice on top of my onions and meat. I ended up, since I had it in the bag, just taking it out and shaking it up. And that worked really well. Other option would be to put the meat in first and pour the liquid on top. This was really, really good. The beef was very tender. It says to serve over rice or pasta. Of course, Big Daddy wanted his flour tortilla. I have mine in a bowl, but I think it would go well with egg noodles or any other kind of pasta too. Great recipe. I hope you enjoyed those recipes and I hope you give them a try. You'll not be disappointed. You guys stay warm. And if you made it to the end of this video, please give me a heart emoji. I love y'all. Have a great week. Bye-bye.